Hi, it's Lou Brown. I am here to give you some messages related to the situation that we're in right now. Obviously, who's ever seen this before, right? Not only is a community in quarantine, and not only is a county in quarantine, and not only is a state in quarantine, and not only is a country in quarantine, Imagine that the world is having a like experience. This is such a remarkable time in our life, in our history. It's definitely something we will never forget. And I want to give you a message of hope. And, you know, sometimes we get into a place in our life where as we're looking out, all we see is dark clouds and we really don't have an experience of what's happening for others particularly if you are, you know, self-sequestered and you have, you can't really leave the area that you're in. And it just might land in your life as dark and bleary and uh, a an, an, an challenging time. And let me just share with you that yesterday I received a contract on a property that we decided to sell in a remote area. We really didn't want to manage it long distance in that particular area, we decided to sell that property. And not only did one contract come through, two contracts came through and they actually started bidding against each other. And this was yesterday. Now understand that this is very turbulent times for a lot of people, but for other people, they're looking at their life. They're looking at their future. They're in a position to make some decisions right now. Uh, either they have good enough credit, good enough down payment, and they're ready to roll. Well, guess what else happened very recently? Uh, mortgage rates went down. They went through the floor, and this could not be a better time for people to buy. So think about this that if you have an inventory and you have some folks, you have some properties that you'd like to sell, well, number one, let's start with the folks that live in those homes. They may have good enough credit and good enough down payment right now. Let's work on them. Let's work with them to help them get home ownership. Now, why would I tell you that? Because there's opportunity coming like none you've seen. The reason is I've seen this before. This now starts my fifth real estate cycle. So if you want to use the term, been there and done that, I've definitely experienced this. And what happens is it's always based upon a log jam. There's an economic log jam. Well, they just created that log jam, didn't they? Uh, when they said the courts are shut down, we're not going to be doing any foreclosures. We're not going to be doing any evictions. Well, that doesn't mean that the clock stops. That doesn't mean that the mortgages aren't still due. That doesn't mean that the rent is not still due. That doesn't mean that those folks at a later time when we're over this hump, that they don't still owe that money. And that might put them in a negative situation and therefore cause a, a hiccup, which it's doing right now. And as a result, some folks are not gonna make it through. now. We also know this, that the Senate just passed that $2 trillion bill that is, is designed to give everyone a $1,200 check or a couple $2,400. That's a significant amount of money to a lot of people. And particularly, everybody's getting it. The people that are getting paid, which I'm paying my team members, and I know a lot of other people that are still paying, and they're still in business and they're still doing a lot of things. So <laughs> people are going to have extra money to work with. That means that they're going to be able to put money down on a home. Now, give you more information about what's happening in our world. Yesterday, between yesterday and today, we've gotten six applications in on various properties. You see, people didn't just stay home. And and in our community, they didn't shut down the state. <laughs> so people are out and about. They're looking at properties. They're online as well. We have remarkable websites that we have designed for our licensees, certified affordable housing providers. And we have a program called the Path to Home Ownership, where we help deserving families, regardless of credit or financial background, 
to end up with home ownership. And so as a result of that positive message in the marketplace, and as a result of people having now perhaps disposable income, and for some people, this extra check coming from the government will be just enough to be able to qualify for a conventional or an FHA loan when the dust settles. Well, the dust is right now. People are in the marketplace right now. So I want to give you some inspiration to definitely go out there, make things happen. Don't turn off the switches, turn on the switches, turn on the marketing, make things happen. Now, right now we have sent a letter to our residents and I wanted to give you a gift for joining me and hopefully getting some inspiration from this message. I'll give you another thing. We sent um, a letter to our residents. We had a very positive response. You'd say, well, wait a minute, rent day hasn't happened yet, Lou. Well, for some landlords, you're absolutely right. They're not gonna collect their rents until the first or the fifth of the month. But for us, we started over 20 years ago, we changed our program and we started collecting our rents on the 25th of the month. There was multiple reasons, about 12 reasons, that we started collecting on the 25th of the month rather than the first of the month. One of them being that we would know in advance before we got to the first of the month if we were going to have a problem or not. Well, the 25th was yesterday. We only had two residents out of a couple of hundred residents. We only had two that we had to do a promissory note workout with. Uh, so, and yes, we are being generous, but we're looking at it on a case by case basis. We're looking at their situation. We're asking them for proof from their company that they have stopped or suspended payments to them. Now, there's many different options available to your residents right now to be able to obtain some assistance. So I wrote a letter to all of our residents. We sent this about mm, seven, eight days ago. and uh, we got positive reaction from them. They called in, they talked to us in advance before the 25th hit, and they let us know. Now, I want to share that letter with you and give you the opportunity to use that. Now, it's a Word document. You can change it any way you see fit. And I just wanted to give you that gift. And there's a second document there, and it is the different agencies that can help them. Now you're gonna to have to do some research on your own about churches and other programs that may be available in your local market, but I'm definitely giving you some ideas in that letter. It's a Word document as well, so you can go in and change it any way you want to. And it's just my gift to you to help you in these times of need. Now also on the message, and I'm gonna give you the link to that, also in that message, I wanted you to take a look at our property management system. This is definitely something that has been developed over my over 40 years, 40, 40 years of being in this business of buying, holding, and selling property. As I said, I'm going into my fifth cycle here. I have seen what things look like when things crash and burn for some people, and I've definitely been able to discover some things that help us to manage our way through the crisis that does come. So definitely I want to give you access to that as well so that you have some information you can look at while you're building your business. Now right here on this page below we have a link for you and it is uh, the streetsmartinvestor.com forward slash COVID letter, C-O-V-I-D-L-E-T-T-E-R. You just simply put that in your browser and it will take you to the page that I've got set up with a download on that letter and on the attachment to that letter, which is all the different agencies that potentially could help your clients uh, through these troubled times. And we make it clear in the letter, hey, uh, we would love to be able to say we're going to waive the rent. However, we have not gotten a letter from uh, the mortgage companies saying that they're going to waive the mortgage payments. And we haven't gotten a letter from the uh, utility companies, the gas company, the light company, the water 
they're all expecting payments as well. And don't forget about the property taxes and the insurance. They're not waiving their costs as well. So obviously to be in this business is not a free ride. We definitely have some expenses that we have to allow for. And we're explaining that in our letter to our residents that we do have to and must expect payment for their use of the property because we do have obligations as well. And we also mention our team in there, that our team is getting paid and we have to have funds to be able to do that as well. So hopefully that will be of value to, the, to you. Again, that's streetsmartinvestor.com forward slash COVID letter, C-O-V-I-D-L-E-T-T-R. Lou Brown, giving you some encouragement about the market that we're in right now giving you some encouragement about now may be the time to sell some of your properties and get into cash and put you in a position to see what's available on the other side of this thing. And remember this, we have a message to the market. It is helping people, not hurting people. Check out my book, Doing Good While Doing Well on Amazon.com. Check out my book, Never Pay Rent Again the path to home ownership. Uh, these are definitely great messages that have helped to build our business as certified affordable housing providers offering in our community a program that can help people have a better life than just renting a property. And for you, it can help you to earn a lot more money than a traditional landlord does. So for now, I wanted to give you that information. If you need anything, give us a call, 1-800-578-8580. That's 1-800-578-8580. It's Lou Brown giving you a hope and a vision and a dream for your future, and I will see you soon. Good luck, good health, and may God bless. Have a great day.